Hey, today is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. I'm sure you feel the same way. Okay, so quick one. I want to quickly tell you something today about identity. I'm not using microphone. I just hope that this audio is clear because I just finished doing this video for how many minutes now? Two times. Only for me to realize that the microphone didn't work. Okay, so I said, you know what? Just leave this mic thing. This wireless mic. Okay, sorry for the distraction. So yesterday, my daughter got back from school. Nine-year-old daughter got back from school yesterday and she told me that she had an awful experience in the school bus that some other kids were making a jest of her they said something awful about her and that she didn't like it so this morning when i dropped them off in um school i i had to see the admin office i already made a phone call yesterday but i had to go to the admin office just to remind them that they should not forget to address the matter with my daughter and the other um um puppies in the school bus yesterday so before I left, I called my daughter and I said, I hope you remember what I told you yesterday. And she said, yes, mommy. Okay, so that thing that I told her yesterday is what I want to share with you. And that is what is leading to this conversation. I told her yesterday, don't you dare. Don't you dare believe what you are not. Don't you dare believe what people say about you that is not you that does not define who you are and you know i i i had a very i had a thorough conversation with her i know that this age nine year old they are dealing with a lot and all of that but even even we adults we have our own um struggles with identity i don't know about you but i didn't have it all perfect even when I, as an adult, there was a time I, I got a slap. <laughs> oh God, what, what an experience. I got a slap in Keke. Keke is tricycle in this part of the world. Um, we call tricycle Keke. Niger I mean, I'm, I'm, from, I'm speaking from Nigeria. And you know, after that incident, that, that's another story entirely. It's going to take a lot of time. Don't worry, I'll gist you. If you want the full gist, just... You know, put it in the comment section. So I, after that experience, I got back home. I couldn't continue with my with my journey. I had to go back home, and I was crying. What was paining me is the fact that I did not f fight back. You know, when you want somebody did something to you, you want to do your own back, but you could not do your own back. You know that feeling, eh? Mm -hmm, exactly. That's how I felt. That was what was paining me. Gun, gun. That's the pain of the the thing. Gun, 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 that was paining me. That I could not fight back. It's not the slap that was paining me. But you know, I kept on telling myself that it's not her fault that if I was tall, if I was um, this, if I was that, and blah, 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 or if I was in my car, would she even have the effort tree to... I said so many things that year, and you know, I was just like, hmm. So while I was trying to find myself, I remember that incident, and I'm like, hey, Tumbi, you, your life does not even consist in the things that you have. Or the things that you don't have who are you now if they take the side of they take your car away from you they take your children away from you they take this marriage away from you everything that you feel that you represent you are being stripped of it what will be left of you what will still what will you call yourself and that's that is why I'm here today I'm here to talk to you about identity and I know this identity issue is a whole long conversation. It's not something I'm still unraveling it myself, but I feel I should share this with you. And I'm going to read, I will still release some, some videos that will speak extensively on how I found myself in that journey and how I, I took care of, of that, you know? So I, 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 it got to me and like, look to me, you are God's child. Whose child are you? You are God's child. Whose child are you? You are God's child. As in, I kept on saying it again and again to myself until, until it sank deep into me. Like, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. And I'm here to tell you that you, you are not a mistake. You are not defined by your inadequacies. 
you are not defined by your errors you are not defined by your past you are not defined by your mistakes the things that you don't have does not define you the fact that you don't have you know everything that you wish or that you long to have does not define you or even if you have or you are living a life of luxury and it those things they are things they do not define you who you are find yourself in the scriptures you know what Jesus said? He said, I come in the volume of books that is written of me. Same thing with you. Same thing with me. I come in the volume of the books that is written of me. You come in the volume of the books that is written of me. You come in the volume of the books that is written of you. And what is that book? It is the scriptures. It is the Bible. The Bible is never old. It's not old school. You will find yourself there. That's how Jesus, Jesus Christ is the word of God and yet he found himself in the scriptures, in the word. Same thing with you. Find yourself. Because your life is a prophecy. It has been written about you. As a matter of fact, God wrote about your life, about who you are, about your identity, about what you will become. Even the devil knows. The only person that is not aware of who you are is you. You, Gaga, that is looking at me like this. You are the one. Mm, I'm talking to you. You are the one. You are the only person in this scenario that has not come to realize who you are. You have not come. You have not. You are, you, you, I don't know. Maybe the thing is beginning to pain me. I'm beginning to shout. Please find yourself. There is more to you. You are who God says you are. You, you, you are a child of God. So I guess I'm still going to do, like I said, I'm, I'll still do more content to speak extensively about your identity. Uh, you might want to say, oh, we're talking about identity. We're not talking about the Bible here. Hello, hello, sir, ma. Everything about my life, if you know me very well, my life is working. I'm not, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not proud. When something is working, you say, when you know the way you know, you cannot unknown what you have known. My life is working. It's producing results. And my principles, where I get my principles from, concerning my business, my marriage, my parenting, my relationship with people, everything is working. I get those principles. The principles I'm applying to those areas of my life is from the Bible. So I am God is giving me wisdom to convert spiritual principles into socio-economic relevance. So again, sir, ma, we are going to use the Bible to talk about who you are. Who you will find yourself. You will see that you, it has been spoken of you concerning that thing that you have been struggling with. It's right there. It's right there. Okay? I love you. I don't know. Maybe I was too hard for you today. But I just want you to know that you are more than this. You are everything God says you are. You are a child of God. See you again the next, uh, uh, what should I call it, episode or video, whatever it is. Just stay joyful to the next time that we meet. Stay joyful as usual. Do not allow anything, anyone, any situation to steal your joy away from you. Remain an ally. All right? I love you. God loves you. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please get this word out there. You will be amazed at how many people need to hear this. Okay? You have friends, you have loved ones, you have your siblings who are yet to, maybe you've been talking to them about something and they are yet to give you a positive response. These are ways you can, you can, you know, do, do the talking by sharing this video to them. Okay? Don't worry. We are all going to grow together. Mm? Like I always tell you, there is no, there is no, uh, the person that knows it all. Nobody has stayed in this world before. We are all learners. So we are all here to grow and then, mm -hmm. Please kindly share, kindly like, kindly subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye. See you. Love you.